everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in to nine on the positive side this weekend. And this is your good news for the weekend. If you're a parent, you know there is no love quite like what you have for your children, but also it bonds the parents in a special way too. Bob Buckley has this story. It appears there is a baby boom in Greensboro. Oh, life just surprises you. <laughs> and wait until you hear the story behind it. Nine women, all certified registered nurse anesthetists at Cone Health, all pregnant at nearly the same time. So it was Holly in May, Olivia in June, Allie in July with twins, Diana the end of July, myself in August, Brooke in September, Alicia in November, and then Allie and Courtney both in December. December. We were within a day of each other. So nine pregnancies, 10 babies from May to December 2022. What kind of jokes do you guys get about this? What's in the water? Yeah. <laughs> What's in the anesthesia water? I don't want to drink that. Hi, good morning. They work with equipment that's not always pregnancy friendly as they help to protect life from infancy to final breaths creating a bond that connected them through it all. All right, should be good to go. Really, our work family, they're the first people to know if we're pregnant or not, even before our personal family and friends. So we're telling them first, and we're like, so Don't tell anyone. Yeah, yeah. Three to five weeks yeah. pregnant. Yeah. It's a time that you kind of want to keep it a secret just in case if something doesn't go well. Yeah. <laughs> it all went so well that in the few minutes of respite they get at work, they can laugh at the stories they share and go to school in the break room as moms and dads with older children share their wisdom. We hear about teenagers in the break room. We hear about all different phases of life for the children in the break room. So it's kind of fun because we can, you know, anticipate our future. Um, it sounds like it only gets harder from here. <laughs> for now, though, it's nothing but the wonder of new life, often sleeping angelically, further bonding each mom with the baby's father. It is really special, though, to see your spouse, you know, change from being a husband to a father. Like, there's nothing really like that. Um, it's just a different type of love that you have and seeing them love your child in that way. It's I actually tell Zach all the time that I can never repay him enough for, like, my kids. Like, it's truly amazing. And when you can share the experience with other couples going through the same thing, there is a moral to that story. I think it's get pregnant with your friends. Yeah. <laughs> it's way more fun. So do you suspect these nine kids are going to be lifelong friends? Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're definitely going to be a lot of birthday parties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that will be fun. Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News. I was thinking about the birthday parties. Those will be fun. If you want to hear about what the dads have to say about all of this, just head over to our website, WNCT.com. You can find the story over there. In 2020, Dr. Stuart Gold, a doctor at UNC Children's Hospital, went viral for his dance moves. And now he's following up with this new video. Going on right here, a celebration to last throughout the years. Doesn't it make you want to dance? This is the third annual video from Gold and other hospital staff. Previous music videos featured Whitney Houston's I Want to Dance with Somebody and September by Earth, Wind and Fire. We've put the links to the new video as well as the others over on our website, WNCT.com for you to see. A dog in California is wowing players on the field while also lending them a paw. Sakura Gray introduces us to Corey. As the Aggie baseball players gear up for the season, they aren't the only ones getting their game faces on. Corey the dog has an important role on this team. She's retrieving the bats. This won't be her first time performing under pressure. Last fall, she spent her Saturdays retrieving the kickoff tee at Aggie football games. I think the best part of seeing her out on the field, uh, whether it be football or baseball, is really the students and the crowd that she pleases. She loves interacting with people, and it's really, really nice to see the happiness that she brings to the students and the players. Her involvement is a nod to the university's vet school, ranked number one in the country. Her owner, Lisa Tell, is a professor in the School of Veterinary Medicine, making Corey the unofficial vet med spokesdog. 
As she makes her way through the UC Davis campus, she brings a sense of comfort to students. A lot of the students here at UC Davis, they're away from home. They don't have their pets here. And so I think they really enjoy being able to interact with a dog. For the Aggie baseball players, it's a welcome addition. Ballpark dogs are a cherished minor league tradition, and Corey brings that minor league feel to Dobbins Ballpark. It makes it feel a little bit more professional in that sense. Corey brings the professionalism to these games. Her only challenge, keeping her eyes on the bat and not the ball. The four-legged teammate reminds us that if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Go, Corey. And that was Sakura Gray reporting for us. A man from Illinois is proving that age is nothing but a number. Aaron Ivory shows us what he's doing that keeps him young. It's not every day that you meet someone who has been around for 10 decades, much less at a bowling alley. <laughs> Get your shoes on. You want to talk about the long game? My game is in that sharp says the guy who's been lacing his bowling shoes for 80 years straight. I'm getting this way instead of that way. <laughs> but Ed Berthold keeps on rolling. Lift on all of them. <laughs> Ed has bowled here forever. Oh, you got robbed. Chomping gum. To your good health. Slurping coffee. Hook, baby, hook and critiquing his own work. Can't get it in the pocket. The wild turkey of the alley oh, Charlie. is oh, nearly man. twice the age of others in this 50-plus league. I wish that I was a few years younger. <laughs> at the ripe age of 103. They look at me and say, really? And I say, yes, really. Ah. It's amazing. I mean, to look at him, you wouldn't think he was over maybe in his 80s. Amazing to everyone, including Ed, whose longevity came as an unexpected gift. And here's why. My, my father died at 39, tuberculosis. In those days, they didn't know what to do, you know. They just isolated you. And when I compare that to what, what happened to me, it's, you know. You tend to play big when you believe you're living on borrowed time. Way to go! You tell him it's too darn heavy, you should use a 13 pound ball. Ah. Not letting an awry ball or two throw your game. Next week, get him next week. When you've been handed your share of extra frames. Oh, God. Ed picked up bowling while serving as a bomber pilot during World War II. His flight crew was holed up for a month in Iceland waiting on replacement parts. So they killed their time by bowling on ice, never imagining that he'd still be knocking down pins 80 years later. Aaron Ivory, WGN News. I'm thankful that, that, I, uh, that I got this talent. If you ever wanted to try something new, a North Carolina man will show you there is no better time to start than right now. A few Craven County educators are spreading their wings and taking flight to further their knowledge of STEM principles. None of your sides, Claire Curry joined them on the runway to learn more about the program with Civil Air Patrol. These three aerospace education members are getting their first teacher orientation flight, getting the experience of a pilot. From the classroom to the sky. I'm most excited to share the experience and see what other students might um, end up wanting to learn more about it. The educational program makes STEM materials available to teachers for their students. When I signed up for this, it was mostly just to get STEM kits and robots for our, my team, the district team, to make more STEM kits for the schools to check out. And I'm getting an email asking me to go on an airplane. And to give them a hands-on experience on how it is used in aviation. I've got your PW tube here, make sure it's not blocked because that's your airspeed. Want to make sure that's unobstructed. 
actually applying the textbook knowledge and actually getting to feel it. Like, oh, if I push the stick this way, the nose goes down. If I pull, it comes up. As well as get an overhead view of their home base. I navigated out to the school and flew around the school and coming back in. And when we were coming into the landing, he let me fly until I got nervous and then <laughs> he took over. They add they're eager to get more educators involved in this program. To learn more, you can head over to our website at WNCT.com. In New Bern, Claire Curry, 9 on your side. And if you have a story idea, we'd like you to send it on over to us so we can hear about all the good things happening where you live in your local communities. Just email newsdesk at WNCT.com and you can also reach out to me on Twitter or on Facebook. And we have more stories that will make you smile and this one that's coming up next might even make you laugh. The comedian who makes the street his stage. I'm Ian Lee with Troy Hawk. The whole world's a stage. We're merely players, and you are a main character. I adore you. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Comedians are known for their quick wit and ability to make us all laugh, but few of them are famous for dishing out compliments. Ian Lee is in London with the British funny man who takes his act right onto Main Street. Madam, your hair looks divine. Comedian Troy Hawk is easy to notice. You've still lost your husband. What's his name? David! David! But it's what he says that'll stay with you. You look wonderful. He made my day, so it was nice to bump into him. In his purple smoking jacket, Britain's king of compliments graces the outside of random stores, enticing people in. I'm the biggest fan of this shop. We sell literally everything. The Swiss Army knife from shops. Hawk, whose real name is Milo McCabe, tries to improve the customer experience. I'm very much enjoying your animal print scarf, madam. With simple acts of kindness. A compliment is like a free drug that gets both of us high. What's your name? And tens of millions of people are hooked, with his videos going viral across social media. Do you want to join me for a picture? Where's it going? Wherever you like, madam. I like your energy. He's even taken his unsolicited shtick stateside. Hello, sir. You look like a man on his way into Home Depot. Allow me to get the door for you. Is there a difference between people you greet in the UK versus the United States? Absolutely. Uh, in the US, you give somebody a compliment. And sometimes they'd agree, they'd accept. And sometimes they'd even add one of their own. And I think that's probably the way to go. All right, pay me a compliment then. You have wonderful cobalt eyes. You're a wonderful listener. And even though you are uncomfortable with the level of attention I've directed straight in your eyes, you've held my gaze. You're making me blush. Have I nailed him or what? <laughs> and maybe that's the point saying something nice just because you can. Your cheeks are pinched with cold, but you're still smiling. I like that. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. It is. And Troy Hawk will be bringing his act back to the United States this fall with a stop in New York. Faith, family, and talent. As Chad Tucker shows us, one North Carolina man puts it all in his art. Most people, like, you'll see them doing paintings and cartoon characters, but you don't really find too many portrait artists. For Marcus Lowry, this came naturally. I didn't know that I could really do this until, like, two years ago. That's when I really, that's when I got noticed. It didn't take long for his pencil sketch drawings to grow from this to this. I don't, I don't know where portraits came from, but I'm thankful that, that, I, uh, that I got this talent. But what to do with your newfound talent? He turned to his faith and the inspiration in the next room over. I want to be able to make my son happy. I just didn't know what I was going to do. And so one day I had prayed and I was like, God, just show me, show me what you want me to do. And then little do you know, I mean, I started getting paid off of my art. <laughs> I mean, and then look where it's gotten me. His work now helps people celebrate life and heal from loss. Like I said, I've done a lot of portraits where I would add in the family member who passed away in with a cousin or a child that, that the person never was able to meet, so I was able to bring them peace. We all have a calling. Marcus Lowry is answering his. You know, it, it motivates me even more, like having my fiance and my son standing behind me, that's, re that's what really motivates me, because I want my son to look back on, on his dad and just be like, you know, my dad, he, he did something with his life and he didn't give up on his dreams. In Ashboro, looking for Roy's folks, 
Chad Tucker. I mean, I believe everybody really has a talent. Fox 8 News. God didn't put you on this earth for no reason. <laughs> and you can check out more of Marcus Lowry's work on Facebook and also on Instagram. Just search what you see right there at the bottom of your screen. And to see more good news stories like the one you just saw, just go to our website, WNCT.com. It's what you're looking at right there, right there. You'll find these stories and more under the nine on the positive side tab. You can find it under features. We also have all of our nine on the positive episodes side episodes there too for you to watch. A moment that might bring you to tears. Up next, the heartwarming story of a soldier surprising her son. And last but certainly not least, a mother deployed for nearly a year gave her son a surprise of a lifetime. Maya Belai has this tearful reunion. Left step, hooch. With precision and pride in every step. Air Force Junior ROTC cadets at Green High School in Uniontown are up before the start of school, running drills. What looks good to the eye as one big unit is what the judges are gonna be looking for at a competition. Cadets are preparing for regional and national competitions and must perfect the rhythm of every moment to be in sync. Thank you, ma'am. Part of a carefully planned surprise for junior ROTC hey. First Lieutenant hey. Billy White. Billy is a, a leader within our organization. He has taken drill to the next level. Performing this drill has not only students nervous, but an anxious mom waiting in the wings. Not now. Okay. okay. Ashley White, Sergeant First Class in the United States Army Reserve, is back home from Africa after nearly a year. Right now? Right now? Just walk out there? Just make him stop? And now, after 11 months apart, forward! Just footsteps away from her son. Hey. <laughs> I was really focused on my flight and I thought that it was one of our cadre coming up, so I was really confused to why she wanted us to halt. But then when I did the right column and I flanked towards her, I realized it was my mom. So. <laughs> All that time away. Awful, you feel like you're missing everything. Um, he's really tall. I can't get over how tall you are right now, man. Um, I felt like I missed everything. I'm really proud of him. I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of my friends. I'm so grateful for the support that we had, and it helped me get through the mission. So I'm happy to be home. Right, wait, the distance of time apart melted away with just one hug from mom. In Uniontown, Maya Belai, Fox 8 News. Just such a special moment to see them together. And we're ending the show with a look at therapy dogs comforting our veterans. There they are. Thanks so much for joining us for nine on the positive side. We'll see you next weekend with more good news.